Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my March Ipsy bag and what I got in that and kind of some mini reviews of a few of the things that I got because unlike my other months, I actually have opened this one and kind of played with a few of the things. So I thought that I would just show you all what I got and then I also love hearing in the comments what you all got in your Ipsy bag. So if you get an Ipsy or any kind of other monthly service, just let me know like how your month was and what you got this month because I love hearing that. So this should be a pretty quick video because I have already looked at the products and I'm just going to show them to you all and kind of tell you like what I thought of them and what I thought of my bag as a whole. So the bag for the month is this really really pretty coral and mint green. This is totally right up my alley. This looks just like my dorm room colors. I love these colors together and I think this is the perfect um, Ipsy bag for spring. So I really really like that. The first product in mine is I think the first hair care product that I've gotten in Ipsy bag so far. And it's the Nourishing Argon Oil of Morocco 3 Day Smooth like Hair Cream. And you're supposed to put this in your hair um, while it's damp and then blow dry it for a frizz free smooth spin. I about said smooth spinach. Smooth <laughs> finish. And it's supposed to last for up to 3 days. So that's really cool. I've seen this brand at Rite Aid. It says on the back um, available at Rite Aid and Ulta. And I have seen this brand. This is a really generous size. And I really like the smell of it as well. It smells like very argon oil scented. If you've ever smelled like the argon line from Suave, like the hair care products, it smells really, really similar to that. But I thought that this was a good size sample and that'll be really good for when it gets a little more humid. And then the next thing was also something that I was really excited about and it's the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in this really pretty bright pink color. It's called Pink Lust, and it's a really, really neon pink, but I do think that I'll be able to maybe tone it down with like a lip liner of some sort, maybe like a rosy colored lip liner I think would be really pretty. You can see how bright and like neon the color is, but I really like that formula of liquid lipsticks. I have a couple of those, and they're not too drying. They don't really settle down to like a super matte finish that will like crack. It's just kind of more like a suede, like it says. I really like those, so I was excited about that one. The next thing is also a makeup product, and it's from the brand Tempt 2, which I'm pretty sure is like the brand um, of the airbrush makeup machines. I think I've heard people talk about. And this is the bronzer in Warm Glow. And at first, I was a little confused about this if I needed the machine because it seems like that this would be what you put in your machine, but I think you could probably use it just as a liquid bronzer. It's a really pretty, like it says, it is just kind of a warm glow color. It doesn't have any detectable shimmer in it that I can see, but it's not very dark either. It's just kind of like, it is just a bronzy glow type of product, but I do think it would be really, really pretty, and it seems easy enough to blend out that you could definitely use it with a, with a brush instead of the machine. So I really, really like that. I think that'll be pretty for spring and summer when I'm using like more cream products on my face. The next makeup item that I got was this Ofra um, Green Go, just a pencil eyeliner. And it's a really pretty like sage green color. I'm really excited for this. Um, I think that it's a little bit different. It's not like your generic like olive because it's a little bit lighter than that. I think it would be really pretty for spring and summer right underneath the lower lash line just to add like a pop of color in like a more subtle way. I'm hoping that it kind of sets down to a finish that won't budge because right now when I wipe my finger over it, it definitely smudges pretty easily if you can see that. It almost just disappears so I'm hoping that once it sets for a second that it will really set to like a smudge free finish because I really like the color of that. And then for the last thing, I saved my favorite thing for last. I've already used this probably every day since I opened it and it's just this little eyeshadow brush. I really like the idea of getting brushes like this in my Ipsy bag just because I feel like brushes are something that you can never have enough of because they're always dirty especially eyeshadow brushes and especially like little flat shader brushes like this one right here. I really like having multiple of these so that I don't have to like spot clean or wash my brush every time I want to use one of these. So this week I've used this one a lot. It hasn't shed any and it's really really soft. It packs on the color well. If you can see it's got a really nice taper down the side so it picks up a lot of product and it's just um, small enough that you can really get in like to the inner corners of your eye right here and kind of pack on color 
or you can use it all over your lid. And I've really, really enjoyed this so far, so that's probably my favorite thing for this month. So that's it for what I got in my March Ipsy bag. I know this was a quick video, but I just wanted to share these products with you all really fast. And also, I want to know down below what you all got if you want to share that with me. I love hearing from you all. All in all, this was a really good month for me. I really loved everything in it, mostly because I got um, basically four makeup products if you count the brush. And then I also really liked the hair care products. I didn't get any skincare, so that was awesome because I was kind of getting sick of like the moisturizers and stuff like that. And I feel like I will really use everything that I got this month. So I really loved mine this month. Let me know if you liked yours. And also like this video if you like seeing what I got in my Ipsy bag. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time.